I just talked for like 20 minutes and it didn't, it didn't record. I keep trying to tell the story that my experience today um, at a nail salon that uh, I basically was interviewing for. It wasn't really an interview. I'm still recording, right? Um, it was a salon that I was just, I'm trying to find salons close enough in the area to work at. So I found this one, uh, I won't say the name, but um, close enough. And I, I reached out to the person in Facebook Messenger and she actually got back to me and she asked me what I could do. And I told her all the techniques and things and she wanted to meet, so I met her today and the salon is really beautiful um it was busy for a tuesday and uh, i was not expecting what happened um i thought that if i just walked in with pretty nails that that would be enough um but uh the owner asked me to I think she was asking me to do an acrylic nail on her, which I am not good at. Um, so we started off, I, I glued a nail tip on her thumb and she said it was too far up because there was a gap and the glue didn't stick and that water could get in there. Um, so we didn't go any further after that. And then she said, why don't we do, do a, a gel manicure on me? Um, which I did and I did, did this all while she's answering the phone, scheduling people, talking to walk-ins, um, which I'm not, it was not negative, negative at all. She was amazing. She was juggling all this stuff at the same time while giving me the time of day um, to demonstrate what I could do, which was really cool of her. She was very nice. Um, and, you know, she, wet her hands and had me push back the cuticle and she even told me you need to push harder um so that's cool you know she wasn't she was actually trying to guide me um so uh, I did the like base color and a top coat on her and then I had smudges I wanted to get rid of but she was like it's okay um and I had I know I used an e-file on her on like the thumb that was going to get the acrylic to get rid of the cuticle um so whatever the gel manicure was done she said you know thank you uh I'll call you <laughs> which I, it's okay I don't think she will <laughs> but uh the whole experience was not negative um, I had no idea, you know, I was put on the spot and, um, it's almost like that's the best way to go, um, to see what you can do under that pressure. Um, I, I don't recommend working with nails this long. I, I was getting really nervous and awkward and I kind of scratched her a little bit with these uh they're not functional at all not if i mean not for me i can't i can't do that work and have nails this long um yeah i'm not gonna take any of it as a negative if she doesn't call because that was really cool to see everything she was answering the phone she was scheduling people in this huge book she was talking to walk-ins and there were a lot of them for a Tuesday. There's a pretty busy salon. I was surprised. Um, and you have women asking, I need a fill. I want a gel manicure. So I got to hear like the different, you know, things that people would come in for, which is cool. Um, because uh, if I was just working, you know, trying to do this at home, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, know what to expect I don't know um, so anyway I, I've applied or at least sent my resume to a couple of places the first one 
Uh, she looked at it, asked me if I could use an e-file, if I knew how to use one. I said yes, and she looked at my resume over and then said she'd call me later that day and didn't. Um, I had another interview at a place. It seemed to go really well. Um, but, whatever, they didn't hire me. Uh, I applied to this other place, which is more like a spa, and they called me back and want to set up an interview, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but if nothing else, I'm learning a lot about, um, like, the real world of nail tech stuff. It is not what I thought, that you just go to school, pass your exam, and then go get a job right away. No. Uh, they all want, or most, want like a year experience in a salon, or probably at least a year experience on other people, which I don't have. So I need to either work on people in my home to gain it that way, or find a salon willing to train me. So I'm going to keep trying. I didn't go through all this for you know, to just say, oh, forget it, it's too hard. Because really, it's nothing, like, I think about it every day, this is all I wanna do. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, maybe I'll make another video when I go to the other place. We'll see what that happens there. That's it, bye.